This is a short walkthrough of the Auto Access Database Administration Tool. This is the tool that you can choose to install when you install our client, no matter if, if it's a server or a standalone or client inf installation. We typically recommend that you install it on the server installations and standalone installations. When you open the tool, you will be presented with the facility information, which you can, of course, alter as needed. And uh, you can look at the service management, where you can see the status of the Windows service uh, that Auto Access database is running. You can also restart the service from in here. You can also do the same job from Windows services as it is just a Windows service. You can set your default preferences and you can set your patient fields. So in here you have the possibility to choose your prim primary information. You can easily move the fields around or you can change the sorting of them. This tick will allow you to make a field mandatory or not mandatory. And this field out here will determine if the field will be shown in the Auto Access Database user interface. You also have seven different category fields that you can rename as needed. And uh, when you save it, you can choose two in your patient fields to add it and use it as you wish. We have advanced users and groups management, where you can create new users easily. And you can see these fields on the user, where you can give them a username and uh, set up the, the necessary information. In the Windows Login, login log on field, you will determine if the user should be allowed to use Windows Active Directory um, for uh, password validation. To use this validation, you need to make sure that under user authentication, that use Windows login if available is ticked off. In here, you can also choose to show a list of users when you log on, if you have a limited number of users. You can also choose different passwords, password attributes. And of course, of course you, have, uh, you have a group management where you can choose the different levels of access that the groups has. On the database, you have your database information, how much free space there is in the database. You can set up your database connection if you need a special setup to a, to a full SQL server, for instance. You can set up your automated backup. As default, it will backup daily and it will save the backups for two weeks and uh, it will back up to this location. We, of course, recommend that you change this location to another computer so you don't have the database and the backups on the same system. And in here, you can restore your backups. Under logging, you, can, uh, you have a full security lock and you have a full system lock. So you can see who did what when and you can see if there are any system anom anomalies. These can also be found in the Windows Event Viewer. And you can also set up your log retention policy. So this was, was the short walkthrough of the Auto Access Database Administration module. Thank you for, for watching the video. <laughs>